Thank you so much for viewing. Poet Virginia Brazier summed up our times. This is the age of the half-read page, and the quick hash and the mad dash, the bright light with the nerves tight, the plain hop with the brief stop, the lamp tan in a short span, the big shot in a good spot, and the brain strain and the heart pain and the cat naps till the spring snaps and the fun's done. Those who burn the candle at both ends are greatly admired in our culture. Yet, steel magnate Andrew Carnegie observed that financial barons, and I quote, seldom smile and never laugh. Others seek happiness in power or in fame. Yet God provides joy in everyday things. Children can be a source of joy. Psalm 127 verses 3 and 4 says, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Grandchildren may be a source of joy. Psalm 128 verse 6 says, May you see your children's children. Consider one of Job's rewards for righteousness. He lived 140 years and saw his children and grandchildren for four generations, Job 42, 16. Solomon wrote, children's children are the crown of old men, Proverbs 17, 6. There's nothing exclusive about grandchildren. People from all walks of life delight in them. Likewise, God intends joy to spring from wedlock. Proverbs 12.4 says, An excellent wife is the crown of her husband. Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. God exalts friendship as a source of joy. David and Saul's son Jonathan were fast friends. The soul of Jonathan, the Bible says, was knit to the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul, 1 Samuel 18.1. David had been anointed to assume the throne of Saul. It would have gone to Jonathan had Saul remained godly or had he stayed in the throne somehow. Yet they were such good friends that Jonathan helped David evade Saul's attempts to kill him. Proverbs 17, 17 says, A friend loves at all times. God's works are so magnificent, they cause doubters to believe. Paul wrote, For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. Romans 1, 20. Psalm 1, 1 exclaims, the heavens declare the glory of God. Some unhappy Christians have the lingering notion that something great must be accomplished or must happen in their lives before they are entitled to joyous living. Yet we now have more than enough for a life of rejoicing. The Bible says God gives us richly all things to enjoy. 1 Timothy 6, 17. I'm Weldon Langfield, author of Joy Without Limits, Overcoming the Unhappy Christian Syndrome. Please visit my website on the screen, weldonlangfield.com, for more videos, and thank you so much for watching this one.